it is. Well, as you know, normal plane, normal vector is perpendicular to the tangent. So, if the tangent vector point the direction of a of a, of a curve, so you can imagine that you have a particle moving on a spatial three dimensional curve, and the tangent will give us the direction. The normal uh, vector will give us something perpendicular to it. The same with normal plane. Normal plane, if you if you think that you have a curve, imagine a curve, right, the tip of my finger, and you have a plane that is perpendicular to the curve at a given point, such that both vectors that are perpendicular to the tangent are part of this plane. So what are these vectors? One will be the normal and the other is the binormal. So that plane that contains both normal and binormal vectors, we call it normal plane. Okay? And since two vectors are enough to determine a plane, we're going to say that the normal plane um, is the plane that is determined by the uh, by the vectors and and uh, the normal and binormal at a certain point p. Or along on a curve, we'll write it along a curve C. Okay? So it's normal and it contains both orthogonal vectors B and N. The oscillating plane, well, the, the word oscillate is, is a Latin word and it means to kiss. And basically, that's what the tangent does. If you think about what a tangent line um, does, a tangent line in a two-dimensional universe, as well as a three-dimensional universe, touch a point on the curve and then touch and go, right? We, we have a contact in, in the vicinity, in the cross vicinity of one point. Now, that line can be extended and per perhaps intersect the curve at later point, or it may have intersected already the curve at an earlier point, but since we are talking about the tangent at a point, well, at this point, the tangent is a line that just kisses the curve. Well, if you, <coughs> if you can imagine that you have a spatial curve, a curve in space, again, the tip of my finger, and the tip of my finger traces a curve, and at the one point in, in curve, you have another plane that just tangent to this point. Not a line that is tangent, but a curve that is tangent. What, be, be, what will be the two vectors that determine the plane? Well, one will be the tangent unit vector, right? Because this will give us the direction of the curve. And the other will be the vector that is perpendicular to the tangent, but still on this plane. And that will be the normal. Okay? So we're going to say that the oscillating or the tangent plane, oscillating plane, is determined by the tangent unit vector and the normal unit vector. So uh, those are two, the two vectors, and again, at a certain point P, on the curve, on a curve, uh, along the curve uh, C. I think that's what I want to tell you about this particular 